Welcome to Fishing with Steve D and today we're going to be talking about putting foam in your boat and we've got the special anti-fatigue foam and it's awesome and we're going to be talking about that right now. Here we have the foam, it's an anti-fatigue, um, it's got grip on it and it's anti-fatigue foam that we're going to put on our boat. I saw it and it's only pretty cheap, it's only 30 bucks a roll, 2 meters long by 1.17 long and this is going to be really really good. So it's used for trays, it's good with water and we're going to put that on our boat and we're going to glue it down and uh, yeah I was pretty impressed with uh, looking at the texture of it so um, just have a look at the texture there, it's 6 mil wire, uh, thick, 6 mil thick and it's got a grip on it and it's, and it's yeah going to be really really good um, for against the water and uh, I assume the water will just run off it uh, so we're going to give you up and coming videos of using this and how we're going to set up our boat and how we're going to glue it down so stay tuned for other videos coming up on our channel but yeah guys so if you have a look you can use it for a lot of different items so check it out stay tuned for future videos Hi guys, I'm here with Phil, and Phil's actually used this product, uh, the phone. So we're just going to ask him, how have you found uh, the phone here? Well, I find it quite good. I use it in the back of my X Trail. Yeah. Uh, so I just cut it to the uh, size I wanted. Yep. And um, these days, um, I put my uh, toolbox, Esky, all that in. It's uh, yep. quite solid and strong. Right. And they don't slide around. I go off off-road quite a lot. Yep. And uh, all I do when I get home is take everything out, pull yep. it out, hose it off, and it's all clean, ready to go. Oh, great, great. So um, it, 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 uh, water is okay with water? Yeah, it's okay yeah. with water. Oh, good. Um, I've got a mate that's got in the back of his uh, ute, yep. and it hasn't faded. It's yep. um, quite strong. He throws yep. all sorts of things. Um, he loads up the ute with... Uh, oh, nice. Um, big tins and yep. chairs and all that sort of stuff. And, yep. and good with the uh, sunlight as well. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't, doesn't fade or anything. Doesn't fade. It's good yeah. with the sunlight. It's, yeah. it's a really good product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it caught my eye when when I saw it. It caught my eye, and uh, the fact that it's actually grippy and it's anti-fatigue. So it's designed for people who want to stand up for long uh, periods of time because it's also used for workbench matting, and that really caught my eye when I saw that. So thanks very much, Bill, for your comments. I no really problem. appreciate it. Anytime. Yeah. I also want to mention that you just use your synthetic grass glue because you just put it on thick one coating and it'll stick onto the foam and stick onto the wood of your boat um, compared to using contact where you've got to put it on both surfaces. I would prefer and recommend the synthetic grass glue because you just put on one coating thick and stick it down and away you go. Happy and easy as that. Well, if you really enjoyed that video about how to put the foam on your boat and stay tuned for our new next videos on the next chapter of these, please smash the subscribe button and hit that like button and we'll see you in the next videos. God bless. Ooh, I call it a beauty.